Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial, Functional Analysis, Class Number 14. In this video, we learn a theorem which is an application of Han Banach theorem. Let us see the statement. Capital N is a normed linear space and X0 is a non-zero vector in capital N. Then there exists a functional F0 in the normed linear space capital N satisfying two conditions. First one f naught of x naught is equals to norm x naught and the second condition norm f naught is equals to 1. Let us prove this theorem. Let capital N be a normed linear space. Capital N be a normed linear space. And let us define and let us define capital M B A linear subspace capital M B A linear subspace of capital N spanned by a vector spanned by a vector x naught spanned by a vector x naught where this x0 is an element of normal linear space capital N. x0 belongs to capital N. So, the linear space, the subspace M, the subspace M spanned by a vector x0, spanned by a vector x0. It means, it means every element, every element y belongs to capital M can be uniquely can be uniquely expressed as can be uniquely expressed as y is equals to every element y belongs to capital m can be uniquely expressed as y is equals to alpha x naught where alpha is a real number now define a function now define a function or a functional f now define a functional don't write functional we treat it as function only we treat it as function only now define a function f on capital m as f of y is equals to f of alpha x naught it is equals to alpha into norm x naught we define the function as follows f is a function on capital m defined by f of y is equals to f of y is equals to f of alpha x naught it is equals to alpha into norm x naught first we can prove that First, we can prove that. First, we can prove that. This functional, this f is a functional. f is a functional. f is a functional on capital M. Remember that. What is mean by functional? What is mean by functional? Functional is a continuous functional is a continuous linear transformation from the linear space or the subspace into either real linear real or complex number system this is known as functional so we have to show that f is a functional on we have to show that f is a functional on capital m so the first one first we show that f is linear f is linear transformation f is linear transformation so right for this let us take two elements y1 comma y2 belongs to capital m every element of m can be written like this y1 is equals to alpha x naught and y2 is equals to beta x naught where alpha comma beta are real numbers alpha comma beta are real numbers so right now take any two scalars take any two scalars 
ஆர்கமயஸ் பிஎனி ஸ்கேலார்ஸ் ஆர்கமயஸ் பிஎனி ஸ்கேலார்ஸ் சச் தட் எஃப் ஆஃப் ஆர் ஒய் ஒன் ப்ளஸ் எஸ் ஒய் டூ இஸ் ஈக்வல்ஸ் டூ ஆர் ஒய் ஒன் ப்ளஸ் எஸ் ஒய் டூ இஸ் ஈக்வல்ஸ் டூ எஃப் ஆஃப் ஒய் ஒன் ஒய் ஒன் ஆல்ஃபா எக்ஸ் நாட் ஒய் ஒன் மீன்ஸ் ஆல்ஃபா எக்ஸ் நாட் ப்ளஸ் எஸ் இன்டூ ஒய் டூ ஒய் டூ பீட்டா எக்ஸ் நாட் பீட்டா எக்ஸ் நாட் யூ கேன் ரைட் லைக் திஸ் எஃப் ஆஃப் எஃப் ஆஃப் ஆர் ஆல்ஃபா எக்ஸ் நாட் ப்ளஸ் எஸ் பீட்டா எக்ஸ் நாட் திஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் எஃப் ஆஃப் ஆர் ஆல்ஃபா ப்ளஸ் எஸ் பீட்டா இன்டு எக்ஸ் நாட் இன்டு எக்ஸ் நாட் வி டிஃபைன் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் லைக் திஸ் ஹியர் யூ அப்சர்வ் தட் எஃப் ஆஃப் ஆல்ஃபா எக்ஸ் நாட் இஸ் ஈக்வல்ஸ் டு ஆல்ஃபா இன்டு நார்ம் எக்ஸ் நாட் ஆல்ஃபா இன்டு நார்ம் எக்ஸ் நாட் ஆர் மாட் ஆல்ஃபா இன்டு நார்ம் எக்ஸ் நாட் so by applying that definition you can write like this mod r alpha plus s beta into norm x not into norm x not so right if you treat this norm x not is equals to 1 norm x not is equals to 1 then you can write like this r alpha plus s beta it is equals to r into alpha means f of y1 f of y1 plus s into f of y2 f of y2 therefore we prove that therefore we prove that f of r y1 plus s y2 is equals to r into f of y1 plus s into f of y2 f of y2 this condition shows us f is a linear transformation f is a linear transformation next we show that f is continuous next we show that f is continuous in the first condition we prove that f is a linear transformation and in the second condition we prove that f is continuous <coughs> let us take an element y is equals to alpha x not belongs to capital m now norm y is equals to norm alpha x not norm alpha x not it is equals to mod alpha into norm x not now norm alpha into mod x not now mod f of y is equals to mod f of alpha x not it is equals to it is obviously equivalent to mod alpha into norm x not norm x not which is clearly equivalent to norm y which is less than 2 into norm y which is less than 2 into norm y it means mod f of y is less than some constant k where k is equals to 2 into norm y where k is equals to 2 into norm y this condition this condition f of y mod f of y is less than k implies as f is bounded f is bounded every bounded linear transformation is continuous therefore f is continuous f is continuous if f is continuous then we conclude that f is a linear transformation and continuous f is a linear transformation and continuous we learn that every continuous linear transformation is functional therefore f is a functional f is a functional on capital m f is a functional on capital m further further let us find its norm norm f is equals to supremum of mod f of y mod f of y such that norm y is equals to 1 such that norm y is equals to 1 it is equals to supremum of norm y because mod f of y is equals to norm y such that norm y is equals to 1 so this supremum is not thing but it consists only element 1 so the norm is also equivalent to 1 therefore we conclude that norm f is equals to 1 norm f is equals to 1 also also f of x not is equals to norm x not norm x not where we if we treat alpha is equals to 1 because we define f of x not is equals to alpha x not so alpha is equals to 1 then f of x not is equals to norm x not by han banach theorem by han banach theorem 
by hand by nak theorem the functional f the by hand by nak theorem the functional f can be extended can be extended to another functional to another functional the function f can be extended to another functional f not which belongs to n star such that f not of x not is equals to f not of x not is equals to norm x not and norm f not is equals to 1 this completes the proof of our theorem in particular we extend this one in particular in particular if you take x not equals to y if you take x not equals to y then obviously x minus y not equals to 0 by above case by using the previous the above calculation the above calculation there exists a functional there exists a functional f not which belongs to n star such that f not of x minus y is equals to norm x minus y which is not equals to 0 norm x minus y which is not equals to 0 this condition implies as f not of x minus f not of y not equals to 0 again this condition implies as f not of x not equals to f not of y this shows us this shows us x not equals to y implies f not of x not equals to f not of y this condition mathematically shows us n star separates n star separates the vectors n star separates the vectors in capital n this completes the proof hence proved our theorem you see so this is an application of hand banach theorem this is an application of hand banach theorem keep learning in the next video we we'll learn another theorem depends upon the same hand banach theorem wish you all the best keep learning